Hi and welcome again to DigitalCameraTutorials.com. We're still with Photo Story Tutorials and in this one we're going to work with transitions. So we go ahead and we open up Photo Story again. We're not beginning a new story, we're still working on that project, the Rome holiday project. And so we're going to edit that project. It automatically opens the last project that we were on, the Rome project, so we say yes, that's the one we want to open. And it opens it up. And so far what we've managed to do is we've imported our pictures, we've put text on our pictures, and in the last tutorial we worked on the motion for those pictures. What we're going to do in this one now is to work on the transitions between those pictures. So we go to Next. We've worked with text, so we're not interested in working with text anymore, so we go to Next. This is the one with motion. Now you may say, well we've most done the motion already, we have but we haven't done the transitions. So there's motion and duration and now transition. So we're going to click on transition there and we're going to add in a transition between. So there's the main picture and it, all that they're doing so far is a fade in and fade out. So what we're going to do is we're going to add various transitions. So there's many many different transitions here as you can see. So we're going to add a few. So we'll put the circle on this one here and that's what it's like. So we'll save and close and we'll go to the next one, Customize Motion, we're going to go to Transitions. We'll do a different transition this time. Uh, we'll go with a V going upwards. And you can see how that works. And we'll save and close. And then we'll go to the next one. And we'll again go Customize Motion, Transition. We'll go down to some of the bottom ones here. Maybe we'll try a star and save that and close. I'll go to the next one, customize motion, and again transitions. I will scroll down along here, find a new one. Let's go with peg curling up, and you see it's like it's rolling off the picture. So we'll save and close. Uh, the second last one, customize motion, go to our transition, and uh, we'll come down, try a different one here, page curling up and we'll save and close and finally Pompeii customize motion transition scroll down and we'll take split vertical I'm, I'm just randomly taking them here save and close okay so now we've put in our text our motion now our transitions we go next next we want to save it for playback we need to browse to where it's going to be it's not going to be called Rome Project, it's going to be called Rome Holiday, but we're not going to call it Motion this time, we'll change that name to Rome Holiday Transitions. And we'll save that. And next, it goes through the process again of saving it, so as it has always done, it prepares the video, and then it generates the, the movie, generates the video, And when that's done, it will offer us a preview of what our story is like. Let's view the story. And you can see there the various transitions. And that's fine. So let's close that up. And we'll now exit and it'll ask us, do we want to save the project, the updated project? And we'll say yes, because we might want to edit it again later. We're going to call it the same name as before save and it says do we want to replace this and we do so it's replaced the project that we had before now finally we want to go and look and see the different sizes so let's go to the my pictures folder into the camera phone and into Rome and so up up to now we've got the Rome holiday 1.25 megabytes we then added the text which brought it down because by adding text we removed the motion now we'll go to the one with the motion 2.15 and the next one we have has motion and transitions, so it's 2.15 also, so there, it hasn't increased the size. So that's great. DigitalCameraTutorials.com